एवरीवन वेलकम माय चैनल कोर एंड टुडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट डॉट नेट कोर कंप्लीट रोड मैप एंड बिफोर डिस्कसिंग द कंप्लीट रोड मैप जस्ट आई वांट टू टेल यू ए स्पेशल इंफॉर्मेशन अबाउट डॉट नेट एंड माय कोर्सेस I provide you project based courses in all technologies only 800 indian rupees or dollar 15 if you belong to other countries like us and uk then pay dollar 15 how to pay uh, just go uh, inside uh, video description box and uh, where you find google form link just click to google form link and fill the form and pay using paypal if you are uh, if you are belong to other countries just pay uh via paypal and if you belong to uh india then just pay 800 rupees by using the qr code where you can find the qr code okay just go uh in the description box where you find google form links i provide you dot net core basic to advanced video tutorial and all tutorials are project based so there is a no need to uh add something extra pay for a uh, dapper uh, technologies uh, don't need to pay extra for rest api all these courses are included in only 800 or dollar 15 so i will provide you dot net core basic to advanced video tutorial i will provide you dot net uh, react basic to advanced video tutorial and all these courses are on project based so there is no need to pay extra for uh, individual technology just only pay 800 rupees and i will provide you video tutorials plus source code plus resource material so uh, hurry up guys uh, because in later uh, i will increase the price okay so uh, don't uh, wait and uh, just uh, fill the form and uh, start your membership so continue in the road map of asp.net Okay, so here we have a complete roadmap uh, roadmap of ASP dot net core. First of all, uh, if you if you are a beginner, then uh, just complete the first step uh, of your uh, ASP dot net core, or you can say dot net core. Just go to uh, the first one is the first step is to complete C sharp. Just learn C sharp basic of C sharp. Uh, new in dot net seven or dot net eight in C sharp uh, or dot net twelve. Uh, sorry, C sharp twelve and in dot net eight and just support it and learn dot net CLI also. So if you are a beginner, then start from the C sharp basics. Okay, then you can learn uh, multiple steps of your roadmap. Then after you will learn SQL fundamentals. like database design and sql syntax stored procedures constraint trigger views and queries in the form of uh, ddl dql dcl and uh, and uh, you know uh, special queries and uh, user defined functions and uh, grouped queries as well and uh, relationship between the objects and many more things you have to learn about uh, sql fundamentals so that is the second step if you uh, if you become a full stack developer then you need to do the you need to uh, acquire this technology the third one is dot net core and you know uh, i'm providing you all these uh, in just 800 rupees or dollar 15 and day by day video tutorials and uh, source code so fill the form and start the membership Step three: ASP.NET Core Basics, and uh, where you learn MVC, REST, that is the representational state transfer, and app settings and configuration file, that is the your JSON file, where you can uh, just when we deploy your application, that file will uh, used to uh, help uh, your configuration of your application, filters and attributes, uh, you know, authorization filter and uh, session filters and uh, like action filters, uh, authorization filters. and many other filters property to use to filter the request http request authentication and authorization authentication and authorization is the security topic so that uh, will use in asp.net core when you cover the basics of asp.net core 
Now razor pages is what and razor component is what. So the difference between the razor pages and the razor view actually. So uh, you can uh, learn ASP.NET Core Basic just after the C Sharp and SQLs. The next one is the principle you have to learn about a solid principle like single responsibility principle, open close principle, list of substitution principle, interface aggregation principle, dependency inversion principle. You know about the SRP that is the single responsibility principle. Only one class have to uh, is this, uh, only one class have only one reason to change the behavior of that class that is the single responsibility principle and overcome that rules uh, in the SRP open clause principle and these all are so must to learn a solid principle and uh, uh, on the basis of solid principle you have to design your projects. The next one is ORM. Uh, you have to learn ORM because it's a, a recent technology, Entity Framework Core and the Tapper. You have to learn. Entity Framework Core have two approaches actually. That is the code first and the database first. That is the TB first. And the Dapper is a micro URM, micro ORM. So you can use Dapper because the Dapper is actually released by Stack Overflow and the Entity Framework Core is released by the Microsoft. The next one is the dependency injection uh, that is the DI container and DI lifetimes. So DI container uh, is a container where you can inject your uh, dependencies and a DI lifetimes is a lifetimes uh, how many times a object is actually sustained in a memory. So that is the DI lifetimes. The next step to learn that is the databases, relational databases like uh, DBMS, search engines uh, and the NoSQLs. Uh, like a MongoDB, you have to learn just in uh, step 7. Number 8 is the caching. Caching is the primary focus on uh, uh, deployable projects. Like uh, if you have to deploy your project, then you have to learn caching. Like a memory cache, a distributed cache and application ca application level cache. So memory cache is the primary focus because uh, and also distributed cache is the primary focus. Mm. So these are all are the caching concepts and must to read about that topics because uh, in a deployable um, uh, project you need to uh, you have to uh, cache in your project without caching you uh, you can uh, use uh, you have to use lots of resources of your uh, of your uh, of your server so I need to learn about the caching. The next one is the log frameworks. Uh, the first one is the seri logs and n logs. Next one is the API client and the communication like in the form of gRPC services where we have a REST services, gRPC and GraphQL. So you know all about the REST services, representation state, transfer objects and gRPC is used where we want to communicate with the real time. And GraphQL is a uh, GraphQL is a overcome the uh, some uh, uh, drawbacks of uh, REST because REST have multiple endpoints but in the case of GraphQL you have only the single endpoints. So in the real-time communication we need to add SignalR and the WebSockets that they these are all are the real-time communication between the client and the server. So SignalR have uh, much more uh, compatibility with the uh, Microsoft technology so that you can use SignalR or you can say that SignalR is a wrapper or uh, 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 wrapper of your uh, other services like web sockets and server side event and long poolings. So you can learn a real time communication as well in the step 11 and in the step 12 you have to learn object mapping between the objects like automapper, mapster. Mapster is a tool and automapper like uh, is also a third party tool. Uh, uh, you have to install in your project, in current project, uh, with the help of NuGet package, and manually mapping is also uh, done. The next one is the background task scheduler, that is the Hangfire and native background services. Hangfire and native background services is a, a topic where you can schedule your background services. Next one is the testing, like unit testing, integration testing, and UI testing. Unit testing is a, a deeper level topic. And integration testing and UI testing is an overview of your test uh, of your projects. 
Number 15 is a microservice. Uh, the whole thing actually covered in my project actually. So I will deliver you video content and uh, resource material and the complete source code in just 800 rupees. So why you are not uh, actually uh, join my membership? Just join the membership. Just go for uh, go inside your video description box and fill the form. So hurry up, guys! Fill the form. So you learn better uh, concepts about microservices and a complete roadmap also covered in my uh, video tutorials. And it's a journey of uh, my experience actually. So I will share you my journey, not a technology. I will share you my journey in the form of technologies. So don't waste your time and uh, fill the form. Masses broker, masses bus, API gateway and containerization is also learned in microservice. Number uh, 16 is the CI CD pipelines. That is where we have where we learn contiguous integration and delivery, GitHub action and CI, Azure pipelines. Design patterns that is creational, structural and behavioral design patterns. Number 18 is the client side that is where we learn uh, Razor, Blazor, Angular, React and .NET MAUI. 19 is the libraries we have to learn that is Mediata, Fluent Validation, Benchmarks, .NET and you know study never ending. So similarly you can say my course or my membership actually provide you a complete roadmap or you can say that advanced topic also in just 800 rupees or 15 dollars so confirm that go inside your description box of your video of that current video and fill the google form and your membership start soon in two to three hours so don't wait just fill the form Thank you very much for watching.